Hello guys, and welcome to my review of the 2017 Netflix movie, Blame. Um, if you're new here, hello, welcome, my name is Aiden. We actually recently did a movie reaction of this, a full-length movie reaction. If you want to watch it together with me, um, just search it on the channel. It sh this video should be out um, maybe a couple hours after the movie reaction. And dude, I really, really enjoy this movie. It was such a fun watch. I think it might be the most entertaining movie I've watched so far in the channel. That being said, we haven't really watched any action sci-fi, like an, basically an action movie. They've either been like a horror, like a drama movie. So <laughs> maybe I'm pitting it into the wrong genres, but it was so good. And like after this, and I, I was kind of saying it throughout the reaction, though I, I just haven't like really noticed it until I decided to react to this. But dude, 3D CG sci-fi anime movies are like always good. I swear they're always good. Apple seed movies. I mean, I don't actually remember them besides really enjoying them as a kid. Good. The Gaunt's movie. Good. Like, I don't know, man. It just, it's always bangers. <laughs> I feel like that's always like a good choice to, uh, to watch if you're bored. But yeah, this was super cool. I, this is my first experience with Blame. I haven't watched any of the older stuff. I haven't read the manga. Though, um, as of this recording, I've read the two chapters so far. Um, so I, I went into this completely blind. Um, not knowing like and and that being said, I guess I can't really comment on how this uh, Compares to the source material or other materials. We're just uh, Talking about it as a new viewer of it um, First off animation, you know, I feel like CG that's like a really bad rep in the anime uh, industry for n not for not for a uh, bad reason there there is some bad CG. I just feel like The bad CG is usually like mixed in with 2D CG. I feel like the majority of the time when something's like full 3D CG, it usually looks good. Though I haven't watched too many to tell. At least like sci-fi stuff always works. I think just how like sci-fi is like created, it really matches the feel of CG. But don't get me wrong, there's been bad CG. One of my favorite bad CG is if you have ever watched the fantasy uh anime uh what's it called the arslan Sen senki thing like the the soldier she cgs are actually so bad <laughs> it made me hate the show <laughs> how bad it looked <laughs> so it can be bad but this was actually beautiful obviously one thing with cg is characters details will look less or characters would look less detailed which is true but i think the character designs were super dope and the fight scenes were great. So I, I, I was a really big fan of CG. Um, but yeah, back to the designs. Dude, I when we first saw the Electro Fisher suit. And I still think um, it's probably my favorite like costume in the movie. It looked so dope to me. Like with helmet and everything. I was like, what is that, bro? And I didn't realize for like a while that they're called Electro Fishers because they use freaking harpoon guns. It's so cool. And then you got the monsters, uh, the safeguards, I should say. Um, really creepy with the uh, executioners, I think they're called. Sorry, I, I might not remember names because um, I'm bad with names. But the way they like ran super fast, but their body like kind of moved weird. Like, the torso, I should say. Like, it kind of, like, stayed up more still than it should. It looks, like, super creepy. Good effects. Um, yeah, visually, it was pretty stunning. I was pretty happy with it the majority of the time. There was a couple moments where it looked low frame rate. But I think, again, that just comes with the medium of CG, usually. Um, favorite design character? It's hard. Um... I don't know, maybe, maybe, uh, Zuru. I kind of did Zuru's design with the Fisher 
fisher suit and all the villagers had like pretty unique hairstyle. I do like uh, Sibos though. She looked cool. Um, yeah, anyways, visually stunning. Uh, the setting, the world, dude, I don't know the world, but I really love how they built it. Like they gave you enough, um, I feel like they gave you enough information to let your, to let your imagination run wild, but like at the same time, not enough to like fill in the blanks, but like give you like a decent picture. So from my understanding, and again, don't know anything about the source material besides two chapters, which didn't really reveal anything about the world. It's basically humans were super high tech. They created these robots that follow orders because they can, they have a certain gene. But one day the gene, for whatever reason, disappeared. So the robots stopped following their orders. They thought of they didn't recognize them as their leaders, so they killed them. And the coolest part of that is the freaking builders, which are like the giant robots that they used to build cities, um, just kept building without them. And and from what it sounded like, it sounded like the whole world is just one city. And after they ran out of like surface area, they just started building up, which explains like Killy's um, Killy's um, saying that he's like from 6,000 levels down. So it's like, so like now Earth's just freaking huge or something. Like to me, that's such a dope setting. Oh, by the way, spoilers. <laughs> Probably should have said that. It's okay. Um, I mean, if you don't want to hear any more spoilers, just watch the movie. It's good enough. Okay, now, now we can gush about it more. But yeah, I really enjoy the setting. I think it does a really good job at that. Again, I feel like sci-fi does that a lot. <laughs> Maybe, like, everything does that. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm recently and now a sci-fi fan. I mentioned it in the reaction, but I was always a fantasy kid. Um, but, like, my eyes have been opened. And I feel like, in general, I've had more good watching experiences watching anime sci-fi than anime fantasy. I still think the anime or IRL fantasy has been better to me than IRL sci-fi, but I haven't really given it as much of a chance. But yeah, like like this like ambiguous world. Like I feel like a lot of good sci-fi does that too. Maybe it's just the key to success, to let your imagination run wild, but give you like the key core ideas of the world that you may that may be expanded later in the actual manga. Like, Ergo Proxy did that. Um, Petalonize kind of did that. Like, all the... It's, it's just good. It's a good formula, man. Tito's my fancy. Um, characters. Wait, we talked about characters. Oh, I, I talked about character drip. Um, Killy. Killy's interesting. Like, strong, silent type. Um, some weird combination of robot-human. Um... That like he's basically his personality is just being cool, like I I, I kind of memed about it. I don't know if it's true, but I feel like he said like less than a hundred words <laughs> in in the movie. Like he was very silent a lot, um, but he made up for it for being a badass. That being said, like Sibo again really liked her design, her personality, even though she was robotic. Kind of liked her a bit better. <laughs> um, Zuru was a fun character to follow. Uh, chief was like standard old man chief chief type character like very standard but it's always nice to see looking at like the image I have the see the the other blonde girl I liked her as a side character she did die um but she was my favorite side character I couldn't remember I'm not even gonna try to remember his name it starts with an s that like vice chief guy was cool like a real badass in the final fights the only, like, actually, no, we'll get into it later. Plot-wise, I mean, it's a good plot. I don't know, like, if this is, like, an art from the manga. I assume it probably is. Um, again, it's more like... There, obviously, there is a plot, but it's more like the plot revealing the, how the world works, exploring this, like, post-apocalyptic world is, like, what really brought it together for me. Um... But it was interesting. The only thing I didn't really like was the Ty and 
boyfriend subplot. I'm not gonna lie, I, I didn't like Ty at all, so I couldn't care less when- I mean, I felt a little bit bad when she died, um, but I don't really care about Ty. <laughs> um, she was a meme character, man. I- is that- is that to mean- I don't know, she was like useless at the beginning, then she came along and I was like, oh man, Ty's literally- I- I literally told when they saw she was coming for like, for no- I mean, she was- coming to like help her sister but like she like sucked ass at the beginning so i'm like okay ty's i was like ty and the chief are gonna die this movie luckily only ty died chief lived which was cool um but yeah the best part about ty dying is like the reveal of the omega safeguard using her uh, body as a disguise that was cool that was actually pretty cool um but yeah, I think the, honestly, besides like just enjoying the myster mystery of the movie, probably like the fight scenes were like the best <laughs> part. I love the final battle for the village. Um, like probably my favorite moment in the movie was like Killy fighting the super safeguard. Um, you know, he's about to die. Vice Chieftain stops her, which was cool. Then freaking zoo throws the gun catches it fires it i was like oh she just got spartan lasered and then it's revealed she's blocking it with one hand and you, if you watch the reaction my face was like what i mean you can't i guess you can't see my face but just imagine someone uh being surprised and saying what she's blocking it with one hand she blocks it with one hand uh, uh tilly's all tucked it out she just and then it's not even that she hits Killy with a smug face. Dude, she's a robot and she hits Killy with the smug face and then goes and destroys Sibbo's body. That moment was so cool to me. Um, yeah, definitely my top moment of the movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, all the action scenes were really good. The, the intro scene was also really good, really got me invested into the movie. With again the cool suits just jumping around and leading into like the trap <laughs> or, or being detected, I guess is a better better way of putting it. Um, but yeah, definitely action sequences top notch, visually top notch. Um, story pretty good, but it's more the world for me. Um, voice acting, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Let, let's peep the voice actors. Maybe it's because, um... Sibbo was, like... I mean, not Sibbo. The main character didn't really, like, say much. <laughs> I kind of, like... I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really familiar with most voice actresses. So I don't even know why I'm looking. Did, do you even need to... The Honestly, the only voice actress I know from heart is, uh... Battlers, just because I feel like a commenter always brings it up, and I'm like, oh yeah, it's Battler, or um, Ito Mickey. But dude, I can I can tell Ito Mickey's voice a mile away. So, anyways, I mean, it was fine. I didn't really have a problem with any of it. Um, music, um, I don't really remember any of the music, which means it's neutral. If I remember it for being good. I either remember it for being good or bad. If I don't remember it, then it's neutral. It's probably pretty good. Like, I feel like, like there's sort of a, like if I had to guess, like in the action scenes, very intense songs that really blended in to just like make the experience, which made me like not remember it. <laughs> I don't know if that's a if that's a thing or not. But yeah, I mean, super dope movie picked it out at random and i'm happy dude i'm every time i pick a random movie it always works out <laughs> for the channel by the way usually irl they're usually shit but to be fair it's kind of i kind of like know this shit going into it but this was dope i really enjoyed it and i'm definitely um gonna read the manga i'm already hooked after two chapters and it's like a different story so far so that's cool and yeah I think that's all I got. Great movie. Um, 
if you're if you enjoyed this video feel free to sub if you haven't watched the reaction and you want to rewatch the movie or watch it for the first time then you can watch it with me it's on the channel and there's a picture in picture version on a doodle drive for like the limited amount of time and by limited i mean a year so no rush <laughs> um and yeah we, we have other stuff we do monthly movie reactions we have some anime reactions going um gaming stuff though that's not really relevant to this lots of fun stuff so if anything any of that sounds interesting to you uh consider subscribing it would help me out or if not then let me uh let me uh hear your opinions about the movie because i'm interested i think it's dope up honestly like pretty good um score uh higher than i than I thought it would be. It's pretty high. It, it, it seems like it's well liked, so I'm ha I'm glad. I think it deserves that. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully, I had a good time, and hopefully, I'll see you again in a different video. But yeah, thanks for checking it out. Peace.